What is up everybody? Welcome back to Walt Knots for another day here in the Yarn Dungeon. We are actually going to be heading out here very quickly to do some Halloween hunting for the week. I have definitely seen some signs that there are things out there thinking this is a good week to start. The theme this year for the Yarn Dungeon is Coraline. I don't expect to see a ton of Coraline themed items, but we're going to be looking out for anything that has spiders, fabric that is like purple or iridescent. I need to figure out what I'm going to do for the other mother's hand. The one that looks like it's made out of sewing needles. Maybe honestly, I'll just have to make it myself. Just grab some sewing needles and kind of play around with it that way. Other things that I'm going to be looking for this year are yarn bowls. Definitely need some more yarn bowls, which pretty much anything can be a yarn bowl, right? If it can contain 100 grams of yarn or more, it's a yarn bowl in my book. This is actually my favorite one that I got last year from Target. It was meant to have a candle in there. Candle lights up. It's a jack-o'-lantern. Actually, just kidding. It's a yarn hole. But when I work with it, then I can pull the yarn through the eyes, which makes it pretty perfect for a yarn holder, I think. I did have a pattern out last year for Halloween decor hunting, which is a cardigan. I did the traditional orange and black with granny squares, made a bunch of them, sewed them all together, and added a couple of patches. We have this fantastic one, and a little bit of trick or treat there as well. This yarn, however, is sadly discontinued, which means we need to make another one for this year. Hence the slimy greeny yarn that is now in my favorite yarn bowl. I'm still gonna go with the patchwork concept. I'm gonna do a solid square this year. We're gonna start with this color and then have a black border around each of them. Mattress stitch them or zigzag stitch them all together. I haven't quite decided yet and add a ton of patches. I have a huge stack that I've been kind of saving throughout the year and just had no idea what I was saving them for or like where I was going to put all these patches. This project in particular is what I was saving it for. I didn't know it at the time but it was. The first place that I stopped at was at home and I knew that there was a couple of things in their store because I went to their website beforehand and saw that they had the Halloween section up and there was a few things in stock in the store that was closest to me so I knew at least I would see those things when I got there I was like pleasantly surprised there was a couple of rows that they had cleared out at least for Halloween stuff none of them were full by any means but the very first thing that jumped out to me were these black succulent plants I immediately thought of the garden in Coraline I thought it'd be really fun to mix mediums maybe crochet some dragon snappers and then have these plastic succulents next to them I don't know but I, I really really liked those
The other thing that immediately jumped out to me was this really awesome skull candle holder, but it had a nice little handle on it and the skulls, they all had the eyes and the mouth like drilled out, which would make it perfect to pull the yarn through. I felt fairly confident that I could put at least 100 grams of yarn in there, so that was immediately on my list. Next up, I went to Menards, which I was looking specifically for their wax melt. They had some really, really awesome ones last year. There was one that was a pumpkin and acorn combination. It was so good, and honestly, it just went with everything. They didn't have that one today, but they had a couple of new ones that I was like interested in. They had one that was called, I don't even know, I need to look it up again, Moonlit Gravestone. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was just kind of perfumey. Like not bad, but it, I don't know. I, it wasn't what I was looking for. I don't, again, I don't know what I thought Moonlit Gravestone was gonna smell like, but it was worth a try. But that one was a no-go for me. But they did have the pecan brittle and the pumpkin spice, so I was happy with those. I had to go to Joanne's and check out their fabric because I've definitely heard that at least the witching hour was in. They had a lot more than I was expecting, so I'm getting really excited about their fabric line this year. They also had some pretty cool Nightmare Before Christmas fabric, and this is normally one that's like a hit or miss for me, but they did something totally different with the one fabric this year. They took the characters and made them like 80s neon color and then glitched the whole thing out which was super cool. Obviously, pillows would look amazing like this, and since it was a cotton fabric, jammies would be super fun as well. They had quite a big selection of Hocus Pocus fabric since Hocus Pocus 2 is coming out this year. I figured they'd have quite a selection. The one that I really enjoyed though had the Sanderson sisters on there and there were like little skulls on it as well. I definitely will be making at least a couple of envelope pillows with this. The last place that I went to was Bath and Body Works and even though they didn't have any of the Halloween line out yet, they did have some of the fall line. One of the scents being Marshmallow. I was super excited about this because last year they came out with one, let me go grab it. Candy Corn Marshmallow. I totally stocked up on this last year. This is the only hand soap that I had in my entire house for this whole year, and I've made it. Like, this is the last bottle. That's all that's left. So the fact that they do have something that is marshmallow scented, that might be my new favorite. A couple more stitches, and the first patch is officially done of the season. Only about 57 more to go, not an exaggeration. What did I end up getting, if anything, from this week's Halloween decor hunting adventure? I did get a couple of things. Had to snag some of the wax melts. This is the Harvest Pancakes, and I couldn't even wait. I got home and threw it right in my skull wax melter. Butter, maple, and sugar, that's the combination of scents. And that's really what it is, but it's super subtle. I've had it going for a couple hours now and it hasn't been super strong. I only notice it when I walk by the wax melter and I get like a little bit of sugar, fall, maple type of scent. So I'm okay with that. Genuinely do not think that this is gonna last until October. I have a wax melter in every single room in the house and this is just, this is a good one. So yeah, I don't think this one's gonna last. 
I couldn't leave this behind. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this part here because this isn't sharp, but I feel like it might snag the yarn a little. It doesn't have anything in the bottom to like hold a candle. So I don't have to worry about yarn getting caught that way. Let's just use this one since I have it right here. So it did get snagged on the yarn right there. Oh, that comes off really easy. Done. Okay. Okay, now I almost like it better. Obviously, you could go ahead and pull it through any of these because those are all open, but I'm just going to put it through the top here, which was the actual holder. There we go. I'm pretty happy with that. Anything that's going to be a little bit bigger than worsted weight or DK weight probably isn't going to be ideal for it, but I love using worsted weight. I use that constantly, and lately I've actually been using a lot of fingering weight because I've been making socks. Overall, I feel like this was a pretty successful week. Being as it was just the first week of July, I really didn't know what to expect, but I came out with an amazing yarn bowl. But for now, that is all, so have a fantastic fantastically spooky rest of your day and I will see you in my next video.